Hello and welcome back. My name is Madeline and I review books, TV shows, movies, basically anything I want every Tuesday, sort of. Happy early Lunar New Year and also happy early Valentine's Day. I'm wearing my Valentine's Day shirt that I wear every single year. It has little hearts on it. Today we're going to be talking about Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. First thing that I loved about this book is that this was originally a NaNoWriMo book, which I always find that so inspiring when NaNoWriMo books end up getting published. Basically this book is about a senior in high school whose divorced parents make her go to boarding school in Paris for a year and at first she doesn't want to go but then she ends up loving it she makes really good friends and she goes on all these adventures and it's just a delight to read I read this book in one sitting I really enjoyed it I am gonna be getting into some spoilery things now so if you haven't read the book yet go read the book and then come back and then we'll talk about it the first thing that I really loved about this book besides the setting and the general premise in the writing style was the characters. I really loved all the characters. Her friend group in Paris is just, each of the, every character is so unique and you totally know exactly what they're like. They feel very real. I especially love St. Clair, obviously. I did have a couple critiques for this book. The first thing is I felt personally like the will they, won't they, St. Clair and Anna, that back and forth just went on a little bit too long for me. I think I would have preferred them actually getting together and him dumping Ellie earlier on in the novel and then us getting to see more of their relationship. I think that would have been better. The second thing I didn't really like was Brigitte because we don't know her. Like this whole time Anna is, she's mad at her. She's trying to keep in touch with her best friend. But at the same time, like we as readers, we don't know her. So we don't have any vested interest in her as a character so I do wish she'd been a little more fleshed out in the novel maybe through some flashbacks or more conversations on the phone something because to me when she betrays Anna it's like okay like okay having said that I do understand they need her in order to make a parallel between Meredith Anna and St. Clair and Brigitte um Anna and Topher so I get that but I still just felt like she we should have known her better so it had more impact on us. I also wish that Anna would have spent a little bit more time with her two girlfriends at Soap because it just felt like she spends all her time with St. Clair. We don't really know these girls and yet she says she really likes them and like they're good friends. So I would have liked to see her spend a little bit more time with them. My favorite character is definitely St. Clair, but I really liked Anna as a narrator. I thought that her personality is really endearing and also very relatable, her anxiety about going to Paris by herself, I found very relatable. Another thing I didn't like is how once she falls in love with St. Clair, she starts calling him Etienne because it's like, it, it, it was confusing for my brain. Like I get in real life that would happen, but when I'm reading about it and you know, I'm all in on a St. Clair and next thing you know, St. Clair has gone and it's Etienne. And even though like they're the same person, it just, I don't know why, it just kind of messed me up. So I didn't really like that either. All in all though, I really enjoyed this book. I would recommend it to people. Question, have you read the other books in the series and should I read them? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching my video. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend. It does mean the world to me, and I will see you next Tuesday for our next video. Uh, one of Nate, one.